Hi, I'm Jamie. Welcome to Teachers Tech. It's great to have you here. Today, I want to show you how to use the free video editor ClipChamp. Now, you can use ClipChamp in a couple different ways. You could install it on your Windows computer for free. I go to the Microsoft Store and download it. You can put it on your Windows 10 or Windows 11, or you could just log in online with your browser. So whether it be Microsoft Edge or Chrome, it will work the same way. The experience is identical. I'm actually going to show you on the online version here today, but you could follow along with the app as well. There's so many great features that ClipChamp has built into it, and it's so easy to use. It's just drag and drop, very beginner friendly, and you can be creating some great looking videos. So whether you want to add filters like green screen with a couple of clicks, making your edits, um, adding assets like other uh, graphics or stock photo, all those things are available. So let's get started on how to use ClipChamp today on Teachers Tech. If you want to install it on your computer, Windows 10, Windows 11, I'm just going to go to search and I'm going to type in Microsoft and I just want to go to the Microsoft Store. And this is where it is right here. So I already have it searched for. You can type ClipChamp into the search bar up here and then you can go ahead and just install it. Once it's installed, you're gonna get the open here. But like I said, it looks the same online. So I'm gonna move over to my browser here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get logged in. So if you don't have an account yet, I, you can click try it for free here. Uh, then you're gonna get some options. So if you have your Microsoft account, if you have a Microsoft account, you can log in with that. Uh, or you can see you have Google or your email. But I just want to point out uh, that they'll be removing the login options in the coming months and that uh, I believe it's going to be only a Microsoft account that will get you in. Okay, so I'm going to go and get logged in to my account and I already have my Microsoft account here. I'm going to pick this one here and get logged in. So if you go and open up your uh, clip champ it's going to look just like this you're going to find everything in the same place uh, i want to point out that we have settings down here and you can see where you can connect to uh, google facebook and to dropbox and it shows what email and your profile i'm using the free version here that's all i'm using uh, you can install the desktop app from here. So I showed you through the Microsoft Store, but you can also install it here on your Windows computer. Now, uh, I want to point out too, I'm going to be focusing on creating a new, uh, just going over the features in creating a new video right here, but you can also use it to record your screen. So like a webcam, or uh, if you have your webcam microphone, it can record the screen and you in it too. It can actually make a video like I'm doing right now with me using the green screen and can have layers. So I'm going to do a different video on that one this video is just about creating the video and i'm not going to be using the templates because you can play with those after i show you all the different features so i'm just going to go ahead and start this and create a new video and uh, at this point if you open it from the app you're going to notice it looks the same so the first step that i'm going to do is actually bring in my uh, my media to here right now so the first step that you would need to do is bring in media to you. So when I say media, if you're new to this, that would be like your video, that'd be pictures like images uh, or in audio. So that whether that be music or recording your voice, something like that, that would need to be brought in to edit this video. Now I'm gonna point out on the side here, I have this folder called ClipChamp Media and I downloaded a bunch of uh, media from Pixabay, which is free. I'll put a link if you wanna download some videos and I have these that I'm gonna work with today. Uh, the, you can use stock video and uh, we have music and stock images here. I just wanna point out though, the stock video that they have in here in the free version, you don't get a lot. So if you're searching for something, uh, you don't get a lot. Uh, if you see the diamond on it, that's gonna be a upgrade, but you have to pick the ones that say free. So you could, if you wanted to try some out, what you can do is go and pick one. Uh, if you're using the free one, I'll go up here and I'm just gonna hit uh, this one. If I hit add, I can add to the media. And I could add to timeline as well, but if you don't have any video that you're gonna play with, just go add it to your media uh, to begin with. And I'm just gonna cancel out. And if I go to my media, you can see it there at 44 seconds too. So if you wanted some video, we can do the same thing with our stock images. 
as well to go through and we do have some music here just make sure that you look for the free ones and then you can add them so i'm going to be uploading to my media and you can see i have one in here right now so i could import uh, from a number of different places. I could browse from files from my phone. I could go from OneDrive, Google Drive, Google Photos, and Dropbox um, as they change the accounts. And if it's only Microsoft, you're probably gonna see some of these disappear in the next few months. But if I go browse from my computer, I have uh, all these different ones in a folder uh, on my desktop. I could select one. If I hold down Control, on my uh, keyboard, I could select multiple ones. And then let's say I pick those four and hit open. And those are being brought in right now, uh, preparing them so I could bring them to my timeline. Another way I could bring them in, if I just open up this folder again, I could just grab from here and drag in as well. I could actually bring in the whole folder if I wanted to do that too. So simple ways to bring your media. Uh, just taking a quick glance, you can see this would be audio. You can see kind of the wave in the back here. If I hover over it, it gives me a preview of what it sounds like. I have videos here and I have pictures. If I look up top, uh, we have videos, audio images, and it just goes through and it knows the differences. If I just want to look for all my videos, if I just wanted to look for all my audios and all my images like that. So that's how you import your media. Uh, uh, into uh, ClipChamp here. You can see your media isn't backed up. And this is important to understand if you're using the online version like this, uh, you do have to stay on the same computer. If you move computers, you won't have access to those files unless you upgrade and everything was backed up. So if I switched over to my MacBook, uh, I won't be able to have these same assets there. They won't be uh, over on that computer. So I just wanted to point that out if you are using the on line version, you would have to be on the same computer each time if you're just using the free version. Okay, so what's the next step that I just wanna point out? I just wanna kinda of give you a quick walk around here, what you're seeing. And it's very quick because there's no hidden menus or anything on this at all. If I start down uh, over on the, the uh, left here, you can see this button right here brings me uh, back. If I click on it, I can go back to home. Uh, you can see where you upgraded and everything. I'm under my free account. Uh, there's keyboard shortcuts and that, but I'm not gonna go back right now. We have uh, record and create. This is where you can create your screen and camera. What I mentioned about, I'll create a different video on this later, showing you how you can uh, do both of those. We have our templates again, where you can access. I've already showed you uh, these. There's a, uh, we can scroll down here. And we have our transitions, graphics, and text. And everything's just gonna be drag and drop over. On the right-hand side, when we select our audio, we'll have some features that we can do with that. We have some features like fade we can add to audio or video. We have our filters, we can adjust colors, we can adjust our speed, transition, and color here as well. All right, now what I like to do first is when I start, going to be thinking about, well, what is this for? So this is, let's just say, going to be a, a YouTube video. And so the ratio that the aspect ratio I'd want would be this 16 to nine. But let's say you're making something for YouTube shorts. Well, that would be different. That would be this one or Instagram or uh, TikTok. You'd use the nine to 16. And then this one here, we can see that would be for an Instagram post and one to one, four to five gives you all the ratios. I'm using the 16 to nine in this example. I like to title mine right away. So I'm just gonna call this uh, practice video. And we're gonna be just making a number of video, a number of edits as I show you all these different things. All right, I'm gonna move back to my media. I'm just moving up here and I'm gonna start by bringing some media into the timeline and making some quick edits. I just wanna point out if we just go back, like I showed you before, back to home now, and it says your files aren't synced to the cloud, uh, then we can go ahead and continue with sync. If I scroll down right here, this practice video is what I just started. So it's already saved in here. And if I want to go, you see, I have some options to make a copy or delete. If I just click on it again, it brings me back. So I just want to add that nav navigation point in. Okay, let's grab a video and I'm gonna grab this one. So I need to add this to my timeline down here to start my editing process. So if I go up to this, I could hit the plus to add to timeline or I could just drag it down. 
And so when I drag it down, uh, it's giving me some tips here. I'll go over this in a bit with the fading here, because again, this makes it super easy to use. Uh, if I go ahead and hit play, you can see right away, there's no volume to this clip here. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, just show you to play it. The way I like to play it actually is use my key, my uh, space bar. So I hit my space bar to stop and start. I just find it a little bit more quick rather than trying to get up to the play button all the time. And it helps when you're editing as well. So when I bring this clip in, I can drag it around very simply. Uh, I can actually move it uh, around. I can move things to other layers once I bring in another video. And then I'll show you that in a moment, but I can zoom up on it. So if I zoom up, you can see it looks like it's getting longer. It's not really getting longer. Uh, it's just allowing uh, kind of seeing uh, it broke into a, a time period where I could uh, go frame to by frame a little easier. So then if I hit to zoom to fit, it just fits in what I'm seeing across. And then as I move my play ed here, this bar, if I keep zooming up on it, then it allows me to get to an exact place a little bit easier when I'm zoomed up on it. So I just wanted to point out that feature. And then down at the very bottom, we have this bar. If it's reaching past of what you can see, you can just move your uh, this bar and by, by clicking and, and dragging on it with your mouse. Okay, so that's how we can bring uh, some in. I'm going to zoom back out a bit. So we can bring in multiple clips here. So if I go back up here and grab the second one, I could just place it in my timeline. So I could place it right next to it or I can move it over. Remember, any gaps are going to be just come out as black. So if I go ahead and hit play, you can see the gap that happens there. I can place them together like so. Uh, and I can move this one, as I mentioned, into a top uh, layer and I can move it on top. But I'm going to show you that come back to this when we do some video uh, transform our videos to show how to use picture in picture uh, and some other techniques here, even with green screen. So uh, just moving on here, if you want any of these gone, we have our delete here. And we also have our undo. So we have our undo and redo here. So if you need to go back any steps, uh, if you've made a mistake, you can go there. I can also hit delete on my keyboard and it will go away. Uh, we can bring in images. So if I go up to images, images are, uh, are part of the media. So I can place them next to video. And if I was previewing, it goes from video to image and I could place another video in. If I wanted to go to audio, I could go grab an audio and place it. Usually I'm going to place it below it. And if I bring it back, you'll be able to hear it like so. And I can move it around just like I moved the other ones. I can select multiple things that they have that green around it. So if I grab my selection tool and select both, now they're both moving at the same time. So just some little things about moving in your media into the timeline. I'm going to delete this uh, for now and just leave this one. I'm just going to start some basic editing if you're new to this uh, to edit video. Uh, there's going to be three different ways that you can do this. You can edit, you can trim from the beginning, you can trim from the end, or you can split the clip. So if I select this clip, if I go to the beginning, I get these handles. If I want something taken from the beginning, trimmed off, I can just click and hold and drag and it trims it from the beginning. And then on, I can also do it from the end. So if there's extra footage or you need to make it sure, you can just drag from both ends. Uh, you can drag it back. You haven't uh, did, did that, uh, deleted the source file or trimmed anything off of it. So if I drag it back, I can just put them back to how long I want to Go. So very easy to uh, take things off the ends. You can also take things out of the beginning. So I could go ahead and use my split tool. And since my uh, this is where my uh, marker was, was there, it did a split. So I bring it and I click again. And now I have another split on this side. Uh, so now I could take this and change the order like so. So I can change the order all around just by dragging things in uh, and I could play it back and the order would change on how it's happening. So you can see how it goes back and forth there. Again, you have your undo here. If there was a part that you just want to take it out of the middle, you could delete it and then push it back together. I'm going to go back a couple steps here and I just want to point out, I showed you with trimming to I make it shorter, you can't bring it the other way. So yeah, I can't make more video. If this is a nine second video, I could, I, I mean, I could slow it down to make it longer, but I can't stretch it and add more there. Now that's makes a difference with a picture. So if I go grab 
an image like so and bring it in, images are static. So I can grab it and have it play for as long as I want, just like that. So I can make it as short as I want or as long as I want because it's static. Uh, that's a nice option if you're using it as a background here. But editing would be the same if I wanted for to split this like this. I could go ahead and split it. We can duplicate too. So if anything I select, I could, uh, you see the shortcuts with control D, but I can hit duplicate and I put the exact same thing in. So just some features there that ClipChamp make it very easy to do. Uh, and with the audio, and I'm going to go grab an audio, all those things I just showed you with the video, if I drag it in, I can drag the trim from the very beginning, like so, and I grabbed so I can grab it and trim it. I can drag it around. I can use my, it snipped it over here where my playhead was. Uh, so all these different things that I can do to trim the audio, to line up everything how I want, because I can be dragging my audio to match where I want it in the video. So that's just some basic editing tips and you can see how easy this is done uh, inside of ClipChamp. So I just added a couple videos and one image in here just for a short 30 second uh, video here. What I wanted to show you is how to add text to this. Now there's a couple different ways. Look at right here. I could just go click and add text and I go right to it. It actually just gave me a shortcut to over here. I could have clicked this as, as well. Now I can go through and pick some of this text and change what I want it to say. And I like how some of these have the animation in here. Uh, so if I go through and just hover over it, you get to see. So if I take this groovy one and I'm just gonna drag it on and then I drag it on and then I can just change what it says here. So if I just uh, click in here, it comes up here as groovy. So, but if I wanted to say hello and I changed it that easy. So we have our fonts that we can change. Uh, remember that uh, the, these are gonna be the upgrade here. So, but we can pick different ones and really easy to change. So very easy to add that. If I go back, I'm gonna close this here. I can move this around. I could size this larger. So now if I hit, uh, I'm just gonna bring back my playhead, hit my space bar and it comes popping up. If I wanted to play later, I could just bring it down. So text is super easy to add to any of this. Another thing that's really easy to add, and I'm going to just go down here to transitions. I'm going to choose transitions uh, here, and I can just drag them in between my video or images. So again, these that would be a free one. If I go to beams and I drag it across, notice I can add it's do I where do I want to add it to? If I just drop it here. It's added to it. And now if I go back and then there's a transition between them. So let's go to crossfade, drag it in between these two. So now I've added another transition. Uh, very easy to add uh, to these uh, to these videos and everything. Just drag and drop them over. Another easy, easy thing to add is the graphics. So the graphics here, uh, I'm going to grab a free one. So let's grab this little fire. If I go ahead and click on it, I can add it to the timeline. It will pop open in the timeline here. Um, so it just takes a moment. I'm just gonna close out of this here. And there it is on the timeline. I can bring it over to where I want and I can bring it over to a different point. So I could size it. All these, when you see those handles, it just makes it so easy. It pops up right there. Do I want it there or do I want it at the beginning? Drag it to where you want. So you have all these different frames, shapes, uh, then they are identified as the free or the upgrades as well. Okay, so all of these, we've kind of covered these. I haven't didn't pick anything from the music or stock video, but I showed you those ones. I wanna show you some other effects that you can easily add. So what I'm gonna do for now is just delete some of this here. And let's say at the very beginning of this video, I want to add a fade. So notice it just starts, but I want it to kind of fade in. What I can do is go up to fade here. So when I go to fade in, I can pick how long I want it to fade in. So if I want it to go for one second, and then I have that fade. I can also do it at the end of every video too. So very quick to add, sort of like a transition uh, that I could have put in with the fade in on any of these. You could also apply this to your audio. So if I go back, 
uh, to my uh, media and I go and grab an audio and bring it in to here, I could apply fade in to it. So just the same thing, it will start quieter for uh, almost a second and then gets louder. As we're on audio, I just want to point out, you do have audio here and you can decrease or increase the uh, volume on it just by pulling that down. And you can, if you wanted it quieter, you can play around with that. So again, very easy to use. I'm just going to move this back here. Okay, so let's just talk about some of the other effects uh, that we have on the side here below. So anytime I click of any of these, any of this media, you can see what comes up. If I go to here, I have filters. Uh, now with the filters, uh, we ha have can go through and I'm going to scroll down here and we have all these different ones. Let's get one that's more easier to see. If I add it, if I hover over any of these, uh, right now I'm on the uh, transition. I'm just going to move my playhead so we can see what's happening. Then just like that, if I keep scrolling down, you can see the intensity level here that I can change, that I can adjust on these. So very easy. Again, we just can add these. And if I go back here, you can see I added that filter to that clip. So you have to select the clip first. I can do it to the images as well if I wanted to. But then you can see if you can choose an upgrade, what happens there. But you can click, change the intensity, very easy. On this last clip over here, I'm just going to move my uh, playhead down a bit. I just want to point out with we have our colors and this is where we can uh, change, you know, things from our exposure or saturation temperature, just drag uh, the handle which way you want. And we have op uh, the opacity here. And I'm going to come back and show you this opacity when I work with some layers in a moment. Uh, because I do want to show you one more thing here, and that's going to be the speed uh, on these. So if I go to this clip here, and if I want this dog running really fast, I can go to speed and increase the speed here. And you notice it's getting shorter because I've increased the speed. And now this dog is running really quickly. If I wanted to go slower, I could go the other way and it's going to push uh, the other ones out of the way there it's running in slow motion so all these effects are just so incredibly uh, beginner friendly with the drag selecting the clip and adding uh, adding to them okay so these other great features and I'm just going to go ahead and delete uh, all this stuff here so I'm just selecting everything and I'm going to hit delete and it's gone I'm going to go back to video and I'm going to grab uh, this video right here that I started with before. So if I go ahead and grab another video and place it on top, notice if I play now, it only shows the top one because I can only, uh, because I can, that's the layers that's showing the top one, it's blocking everything. I'm going to show you all these in a moment, these transform tools, because they work really uh, well. And I, But first, before we do this, I wanted to go back to my my uh, colors and talk about this. This is transparency, right? So if I bring this one down here to here, now you can sort of see that the top one's see-through. I can still see the bottom one, but I have two videos happening at once in this one uh, because they changed the opacity and I can change it back or I could reset everything back to normal too. So I just wanted to point it out how you could get a see-through video by changing that and using layers. Uh, let's go ahead and close this up because these are super easy to use and fun to uh, fun to use. So if I take a video like this, first thing I want to show you is the crop. So with crop, I'm going to go ahead and uh, crop this one right here. So if we just play it, and maybe I don't want uh, all the background right here. If I go ahead and crop it, I can bring the handles in and focus on maybe the, just this dog. And I can bring it in from each side like so and let's see what we have so i hit play now you can see what's happening behind so now i've cropped the top video now you can uh, see everything that where it's not cropped this here if i wanted to fill with this entire one so now it filled the screen so now i can't see it uh behind and now i'm just focused on that okay so i'm going to go back a step i'm going to leave it here as as cropped because i want to point out this next picture in picture 
So picture in picture allows kind of make the same thing. So I, what I'm going to do is bring in another video. So I'm going to bring this one in right here and place it above, add another layer. So this is the only one I can see right now. If I go back to this and hit picture in picture and just click one of these, it's way up here. I can move it around. I can size it. So now I have three different videos playing at the same time here and I can keep bringing more in. So maybe if I brought in another one and now this one is gonna be the one on top. So I could go to this one again, uh, point out these last few options here. I can rotate this way. You can see as I go around and just rotate, I can flip horizontally or I can even flip vertically. So all these options are there with just a simple click. Uh, if I go to picture in picture again, I'll put this one over here. I'll move him over here stretch it. Now I have four videos playing at once. So very cool, easy to do with all these options of transforming. I want to show you how you can do green screen in here uh, very quickly. So I'm going to need to upload uh, another video file I just downloaded uh, from Pixabay. I'm just going to move over to that browser. So I went to Pixabay, looked in a green screen and I downloaded, I believe, a dinosaur uh, from here. So this one right here. So I did a download, it's free to use. And I'm gonna go and upload this now. So I'm just gonna go into this folder. I can see it right here and I'm just gonna drag it over and it's gonna get added right here to this. So it's like a five second little clip. All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, move, let's take, uh, we're gonna just take this, uh, this video right here of this here. So it's eight seconds long. I know this is five seconds long. And this is a little random, but I just want to show you how it works. So if I go and take this dinosaur now and put it above it, so it takes place, uh, takes everything I see is in there here. I need to remove the green. And then so that dinosaur will then uh, be the only thing left. So what I'm going to do is go to the filter. So I have this selected here. If I go to filters, and I start moving down and what I'm looking for is the green screen one and it's right here. So green screen, even as I hover over it, you can see it's gone. So uh, I can change the threshold. So if you did it yourself in front of a green screen, you might have to change the threshold. I've played with this with um, even with my green screen behind and I just had to change it, but it came out really well. And after that, I can go and adjust this in different places. So I can move this, I can make it smaller. So maybe it's not a small, a large dinosaur, it's a small one. So I'm gonna go close this out of the way. If it was, you could see its screen color is green. Well, it could be green, blue. I can have other types in there as well, depending on what you were using. Let's close this down. And now I have this little one. It will even make it smaller. I love working with green screen. I love showing different people how easy it is to use uh, and how creative you can get with it. So now if I just click, uh, let's play it here. We have this dinosaur with the dog in front of the dog. So that's how quick we can add green screen in here. So let's say we're all done our video, we've had our transitions, we've made any adjustments. Let's, I wanna show you how you can export this uh, to share it out depending on what method you want. Let's say I have this little video here. I have uh, a little a bit of text. I have uh, some music playing. I have the green screen and I'm all done and I wanna share this out. Uh, you've gone through and you've said, okay, I, oh, I want to make a quick adjustment. You can go through, click. Uh, remember, you can fill, even with the picture, you can uh, fix. You don't want those black screens like that. And we're all done. Or we think we're all done. We go to export up top. And what is it saying? Mind the gap. Okay, I'm going to go back and fix. So what I'm going to do is go to this right here. Oh, why was this over here? So I'm just going to go and delete it. So I like how that knows that there's this bag, big gap in here and they're thinking, well, this isn't quite right. Okay, so I'm gonna do this again. What do I want to export it as? Well, I wanna go 1080p here. Uh, if it, You make a GIF, GIF if it was under uh, 15 seconds, but I'm gonna go 1080p and it just runs through uh, this and it doesn't take very long. I wanna point out as this is going through, you can save or share Currently to Google Drive, I could upload to YouTube, send to TikTok, save to OneDrive, save to Dropbox, all these different options. And if you're following along with the app on your Windows, everything's looking the same. 
uh, here. So that's what I like uh, on this is that it looks the same. You could just be logging into the browser if you're having difficulties with the app. All right, so it goes through, finishes up here. Let's watch our finished video. So it downloads, I can see it just downloaded down here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. It opens up what default uh, player I have. And I have this little 15 second video. It has my animations. There's my dinosaur into it. Uh, everything's looking good, it's in 1080p. So that's how simple the process of it is, is creating a video, editing a video with ClipChamp. I'm just using the complete free version here online. So I wanted to kind of show that online version because it just, uh, it, it looks the same and it, I had no lag working with it at all. So thanks for watching this time. Uh, make sure you stay tuned when I show how to create the video with using uh, the screen capture and the webcam making videos just like I do. And that would be all for free using the free version. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.